Having the door slammed in my face was a perfect fitting ending to what we were. The first two or three seconds, it was nice to see her. And then she remembered how much she hated me. I understand she's angry and she's hurt, but it doesn't have to be like that. I've come here, tried to be respectful, tried to apologize for being slightly rude the other day. The least she could have done is accepted that. I wanted to see her, I wanted to see what it, what it was like. You know, I'm heading back to New York, knowing now 100% that whatever me and Darcy once had is no more. I actually found some happiness with Shannon. God knows after putting up with Darcy, I deserve it. I've had a bit of a bad time with Darcy, let's face it. But this leaves me in a very good position now. Finding closure with Darcy has made me realize how special Shannon is. And I can't think of anything more I want than just to be with her right now, in fact. I think Darcy's going to wake up one day and realize all the hurt and upset she caused. And when she wakes up as a 55-year-old woman alone, she's only got herself to blame. Do you really think he was genuine? He really was basically... No, because he said he loved the other girl. Exactly. And he's been with her for who knows how long. You showed him love, you know, and friendship, but he just two-timed you, Darcy. When I saw Tom, I felt nothing for him. The love was already gone. Relationship, friendship, whatever it is, Tom is done. I'm done. He's in love with another one, but then he comes here to profess some sort of, yeah, he's trying to look like the good guy. And when actually he's the one that was the shady one the whole time? Yeah. I'm not having it. I don't want that letter. It's tainted. Tom thought that he was doing the right thing by giving me this letter, but I don't need to hear it. It's a little too late for that. And I think he just always wants the last word or say, but I'm not going to give him that. I don't need for him to hand me a letter. Just stay away. Yeah. I'm glad that Darcy stood her ground because whatever he had to say, I think it's irrelevant now because he made his choice to move on and to be with another woman and fall in love without telling my sister and keeping her on a string. She doesn't need it anymore. It's over. I saw that he put the letter on my car windshield on his way out. I don't want it. Can you go rip it up, throw it away? Yeah. Just rip it. Rip it. I don't want that energy in the house. Yeah. Bye, Tom. Now I found my peace. I love myself. I'm going to focus on myself. Don't need to worry about his thoughts or his feelings. I just want to open my heart to someone that's deserving. And I'm living my life, being happy for me and my kids, and that's all that matters.